Now, authorities in Singapore are turning to artificial intelligence to develop new tools faster to test for synthetic drugs. This is to keep pace with the rapid rise of new psychoactive substances, or NPS, around the world. Such lab-made drugs give abusers the same high as common drugs like heroin and cannabis, but are evading most traditional drug tests because of its complex chemical makeup. Aslam Shah with more. And we have just collected some urine specimen. Kits like these are being constantly developed as the global drug scene becomes more complicated with time. These drug test kits are designed to detect specific byproducts that remain in an abuser's body after taking illicit drugs. Such urine tests are already able to detect at least 200 different individual and classes of drugs, according to this expert. But it's not enough. Novel synthetic drugs are so novel, they are very, very new. So no test kits have been produced to specifically detect those. It takes up to two years to detect new synthetic drugs. For example, fentanyl uh, was produced and the test kits for fentanyl uh, only was available, commercially available after a few years. Currently, the test kits in the market are advanced and versatile. Just a small sample from an abuser's urine, saliva or hair is enough to get a result. They can also detect tampering by measuring acidity, temperature and other characteristics of the sample. But even these test kits get stumped when an abuser is taking new synthetic drugs. Such lab-made substances give the same high as traditional drugs, yet produces different byproducts in an abuser's body. The tests will see these double lines instead, negative. And when a new synthetic drug emerges, developing a test kit for it can take two years. This will be a catch-up and uh, there will never be a day that you can uh, preemptively detect things that are not invented yet or just recently invented. The surge in production and trafficking of NPS in the region is a major concern for Singapore authorities. The Central Narcotics Bureau says it's working closely with forensic agencies on new and faster ways to test for NPS. To quicken the process, the Home Team's tech arm is developing an AI tool to decipher the chemical composition of unknown NPS. Powered by machine learning, this tool can predict if the structure of an unknown NPS is similar to common drugs. While the tool is being developed, places like this halfway house have to find its own solutions, relying on people who have been there and done that to be their eyes on the ground. We got people coming into the centre. Huh? You can see they are high, you know. But then they said, no, I'm okay, what? Yeah, but so we have to do a bit. Uh, we have to, we we don't have to we don't have to rely on all this hard evidence. Uh. basically, we, we 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 have to develop our own clinical skills to see the psycho, you know, the bio psycho, the kind of thing. Uh, so that basically you can actually access the person. You look at hey, this guy's eye very red, walk stagger, uh, uh, slurring of speech, cannot uh, put sentences together. CNB says while enforcement is key, preventive education also plays a big role in protecting Singaporeans from drugs. Now we've heard why the Central Narcotics Bureau believes new psychoactive substances pose a challenge for global law enforcement agencies. Here's a look at why this substance, also known as NPS, is causing such concern. Now, NPS has similar effects as controlled drugs like cannabis or cocaine. It is produced by modifying the chemical structures of existing NPS or controlled drugs. The drug is still very new and it takes time for it to be detected effectively. It is currently not on the list of controlled drugs. Now, not much is known about the dangers of its toxicology effects, but it is as addictive as other drugs. Abuse can lead to severe intoxication, cardiovascular issues and seizures. It could also lead to a severe toxic reaction leading to death. According to a 2021 report, NPS is among the three most abused types of drugs in Singapore since 2018. And among new users, NPS is the second most commonly abused type of drug since 2010. Now, CNB is dealing with this issue in various ways. It is strengthening legislation to deal with the evolving problem and working with partners to improve detection 
and enforcement. There is also a push to educate the youth about the harms of NPS. The global trend is worrying. A United Nations report reveals that from 2009 to 2019, the number of NPS reported jumped fourfold. During the same period, the number of opioid NPS reported annually shot up by 55 times.